Hey guys, Optim Flack here bringing you another video. I got two more videos after this, so stay tuned for those. Um, right now I'll bring you a video on which is better, the Jade Rabbit, which is this guy, or the Boolean Gemi. Um, we, I'm going to compare it stat wise and gameplay with it on PvE and PvP. So uh, stay tuned for all that type of stuff. Um, Anyway, so as you see, the Boolean Gamma is this 284 attack because that was a gun I took out of the say or the weapon machine thing that's by the Vanguard. Um, on otherwise on my uh, Hunter, I got a 290. But um, anyway, so the Jade Rabbit was the first scout rifle I unlocked. So very, and I was the first person to actually do live game play, gameplay with it ever since Try Take a King dropped. So I was the first one ever to do that and I know that because I haven't seen the video until I you know, started I mean when I got it, then a couple more videos showed up but I had it way before all of them um, anyway so the Jade Rabbit which started as 290 attack which was because I unlocked it from my legendary Ingram um so anyways as you see Jade Rabbit rate of fire is oops rate of fire is uh, oops hang on there we go rate of fire is fairly low um uh, I don't know the exact stats wise, it's, but um, impact is high. It's ability is actually, or, excuse me, range is high, super high, like a sniper rifle range almost. Maybe not quite, but pretty damn close. It's ability is terrible. <laughs> Reload is it's all right with this perk. It makes it better to spray and play. Um, anyways, magazine starts out with seven. I got ten in mag, so I got twelve, I believe. Anyway, so here's the perks. Fate of all fools, that's the bonus perk. Chain body shots, gain bonus damage on your next precision shot, and return ammo to your mag the mag. Uh, infuse, which is everyone knows what infuse is. I got a hundred legendary mark, holy shit. Um, anyways, um, soft ballistics, CQB ballistics, smart drift control, spray and play, which I told you about that, extended mags, speed reload, or even quicker, custom optics, which is totally pointless. Um, Zen moment, which causes cause damage with this weapon increases its ability. Anyways, and then for this one, it is the uh, the Boolean Gemi, which you get from the Queen that uh, quest. Uh, what was the quest called? It was the um, the quest after. I want to say after the um. The uh, Wolf's on Mars quest one that you get from Varrick's. Uh, yeah, it was after that one. And I got it. I don't remember what the quest was called, unfortunately. So sorry about that, guys. Anyways. Um, so, anyways, here's the damage. Connect damage. Infuse, obviously. A characterized ballistics, which is pretty close to aggressive ballistics. Smooth ballistics. And aggressive ballistics, which is, to me, in my opinion, my favorite ballistics to have on your weapon. Then uh, unflinch, which is it's easier to fire on using this weapon under under fire. Easier to aim under fire while using this weapon. I can't talk. <laughs> Single point sling, sling, switch weapon fast, remove clicker while aiming. Uh, hammer forge, improve range and accuracy. Perfect balance, which increases stability all the way. Well, not all the way, but increases stability, which would be higher than um, the, obviously it's higher right now, higher than the uh, Jade Rabbit. But uh, then there's these two special perks you get, the one way or the another. Um, the uh, one way is this is one of the bonus perks. Bonus agility on your precision kills stacks up to three times. So basically, every time you get precision shots, you get an increase of your um, agility. So basically, head shots or backs down in the stomach. Um, the uh, people on Crucible, you shoot them in the head and that type of stuff. Um, anyways, then there's this one, which is or another. Bonus armor on non-precision kill stacks up uh, to three times. So basically, same old demo, just non-precision hits. So say you're running, say you're on, let's do blind watch, for instance. All right, say you're running with this, and you got a guy that's right in front of you. You can't get him in the head, but you can get him in the lower of your armor. And if he sees you, your armor is going to increase three times. So three times. So basically, what I'm saying is your armor increased three times higher than it is when you do non-precision hit kills. Which is a very effective way if you think of it. Um, if you to me, I think that'd be a damn hell of a way to, you know. <laughs> so, anyways, anyways. Um, so we're gonna do some crucible or crucible. We're gonna do some. First, we're gonna do strike gameplay. I'm gonna do half with this and half with the other, and then except for that, I'm gonna do the same thing on crucible. Half of this, half of another. Um, alrighty. So, uh, like I said, I got two more videos coming. 
So uh, stay tuned for all that. And uh, here we go. We're doing Vanguard Heroic Strikes, which is level 140. Something like that. Level 260. <laughs> I'm 292, so you know I'm all good with that, but it's still hard as fuck. <laughs> uh, let's do the third particles. Funny story for you. Remember that Centurion Oryx took right after you landed on the Dreadnought? Then the Centurion and the Taken Ogre tried to stop you from killing the king? <laughs> Didn't work. So the Centurion's Bond brothers are pretty angry they lost their commander. They're leading a team to blow the Dreadnought's core. If the core goes, most of the system goes with it. You're gonna make sure that doesn't happen.
I'm just good about the Scarab Blast and both of the Scarabs because it's like they're very effective against land tanks, those who don't know the land tanks. Probably this one. It's really. Why would you bring a tank to space? More, more I guess it'd be rather be the same as it is, but friggin' on. Critical hits 2,951. Ball axes are going to search the same for Legion A. Tier 2 and Tier Yellow, alright? So critical wise, it's doing 1,505. Non critical, it's doing 1,003.
Something's wrong with this picture. You get three guesses.